Okay, this is page two of our circle notebook. So we've got all this stuff in the front. So we've turned to the next page and we're gonna talk about a couple of things. We're gonna talk about area and circumference. of a circle. And we're going to talk about exact and approximation and we're going to talk about the um, formula for a circle, the rectangular coordinate formula. So first area. Let's talk about circumference first actually. We should usually talk about this first. Do we remember how we find the distance around the outside of our circle? We call that, and I usually point a little arrow right here, that's my circumference. That's like the perimeter around the outside. If I was going to walk all the way around the outside, it's my circumference. That is, we usually say C for circumference, 2 pi r. r is my radius. And pi is that little um, funky symbol right there. We call that pi. Um, we often use 3.14 to talk about it. And we're just going to plug this in, and there's two ways. We have the exact way, which just means our answers include pi. Okay, so we're going to get some number with pi. And then approximation, we're just going to use 3.14 in place of it. So we should just get a decimal. 3.414 put in calculator or do by hand, but I recommend using a calculator. And you're going to get a decimal most of the time. Okay? And we use this little symbol for approximation and we just use an equal sign for exact. Area is if I filled all this in, how much space would it take up? And that is pi r squared. Okay? Again, r is my radius. Pi, we're usually going to use 3.14. We call it pi. It's just going to fill all that in. And it's the same thing. I don't have to rewrite exact or approximation. It's the same thing. They're either going to use pi or you're going to get a decimal where you plug in 3.14. So your answers are going to do that. And you'll see when I do my examples of the worksheets that you're going to have to do when we're going to use that. Okay, last but certainly not least, our formula for a circle. So I call this formula for circle. It's also called a rectangular um, coordinate formula. That confuses me, so I just call it the formula of a circle. And we're going to do x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. a and b are the center. And the r squared square rooted, that ends up equaling our radius. Okay, and when we put it on a graph, that's A and B is going to be our first dot, and then we're going to go in all directions to find the radius. And again, I'm going to give you an example of that in the packet. Okay, so just to go over one more time, because we all know I talk too fast. Circumference, 2 pi r. Area, pi r squared. Exact answers include pi. Approximate answers, we use 3.14, and the formula is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals the radius squared, where a and b are the center, and the square root of r squared gives me r, which is my radius. Okay, feel free to watch this again, stop and freeze it as many times as you need, but um, I like how this is showing up. I might draw another picture here for area just to give myself a visual representation of that. And remember, when I'm talking about center, it is like this center of my circle. And then the radius is talking about, so when I talk about center, it's right here. And when I talk about radius, 
I'm right there, that line, the distance. Okay, thank you.